Hi Hustlers! Welcome to our YouTube channel and today we're going to learn the seven things that you must absolutely know before trying to sell your products on Amazon. But before that, don't forget to like this video and do share and subscribe to our YouTube channel down below. Have you ever wondered what you might have done wrong while trying to sell your products on Amazon? Perhaps you might have missed out on something that you should have known? Let's dive in to know the seven things that make selling on Amazon a better experience. Number one, proper guidance. This is the most simplest yet the most important one. Getting help from someone that you can count on will definitely make your experience much easier as you will have a lot to learn from their mistakes rather than learning it the hard way. If that person has had experiences that inspires you to continue your journey on a good start, it's more than you will ever need. Proper guidance will further help you to understand the rest six important things that we are going to discuss. But make sure that person that you are getting help from is completely trustworthy and reliable. Number two, upgrading the product. Most of the sellers that sell on Amazon wish they would have known how to upgrade or improve a product when they have just begun selling. First, find a product that is in demand. Don't worry, we will also look at how to find the product and keyword that is in demand in the later part of this video, but what you must know is you shouldn't directly sell off the product rather than focus on upgrading a bit. And why do you need to do that? Because if you don't, then there is a chance that it would either be flopped or people might sell on top of your listing. And basically, buyers would always prefer and choose a better product than the most basic one. So improving a product before selling is much more important than it sounds. And this is a great way to be ahead in the competition. Number three, keyword demand. This alone is going to be your savior as this would save you from losing thousands of dollars. Try to have a better idea about which product is in demand, which product would face a tough competition in the market, and which one would be low on competition. Why do you exactly need a keyword? You can think of this from a buyer's point of view. The user would search for something specific, say, he requires earphones. He would rather be particular in what he needs, like whether they are AirPods or other Bluetooth enabled headphones. So this is why you need to use the right keyword. There are a few software tools that would be useful to know about the demand. AI Hello is a sophisticated tool and identifies the most effective keywords to build into your product listing and PPC ads. AI Hello will provide examples of long tail keywords that you may not even have thought of. More importantly, remember that Amazon is a search engine similar to Google and YouTube. AI Hello will search volume for each keyword alongside how many other products are competing for that keyword. You can also go and click on the Chrome extension that comes with AI Hello. It gives you the information that you need, but trust me, the information is not of much use if you do not know how to use it. For example, you may be thinking that it is better to go after high search volume, but there is something much more important, and that is the number of competing products. If there are too many competing products, you would definitely not prefer that particular keyword. So what exactly AI Hello is going to do is find whether there is actually demand for your product. And if there is demand, then what are the keywords that are you are going to implement in your title or description? Finally, choose a keyword with a decent search volume and a relatively less number of competing products. So let's move on. Number four is know what you're doing. This is another important factor. Well, Remember to have a clear cut idea on what and how you're going to proceed with this. A few mistakes here and there would not seem much of a big deal to you, but trust me, you would actually save a lot more than you think if you avoid them. Try to do a thorough research by reading from a few reliable sources, websites and videos about how you are going to go ahead in each step in the beginning. 
you can subscribe to our YouTube channel so that we can keep you updated and well informed about all that you need to know. Number five is branding. Remember that Amazon specifically prefers branded products over random ones. Do not try to sell many random products, but instead focus on building a brand. This way, you'll be able to get approval without any questions, and on top of that, you're building an actual brand that's going to be more long-term. And you can build around that one product and slowly grow to other platforms. How do you build a brand? First of all, choose a strong and viable name, a name that you can potentially trademark down the road. Choose a generic name for your store so that you can include products from different niches along the way. Then make a logo that would communicate your brand's personality. Pay attention to the design and color to make sure to understand the type of logo that you would like, whether it's classy, pictorial, etc. Let's go ahead and see the sixth one. The sixth one is capital. Make sure that you have enough capital put by so that whenever there is an extra demand for your products, you won't get all stressed out. This will help you avoid the loss due to products being out of stock. By setting aside this money, you will be able to reorder the products quicker than you have expected, and this might sum up to a profit of thousands of dollars. And another advice is when you seem to be running out of stock, Order in advance because you would not want to run out of your products when they are in high demand due to the lead time given. So this is the sixth one and make sure to keep this one in mind. And number seven, the last one is keeping a record of finances. This step is of utmost importance in any business, whether it is a startup or if you're an Amazon seller or an entrepreneur, no matter what, this is important. Keeping a track on your finances can help you manage your financial future to understand and manage your cash flow. These records also are a mandatory requirement to prepare and file proper solid tax returns. So remember, just don't throw away the receipts, but instead stack them up. If you think bookkeeping is not your cup of tea, you can ask or hire somebody who is in the field of e-commerce, but remember, being organized is the key. So yeah, this is the seventh one, and that's it for today's video. I hope you found that this video is useful. And do share your experiences and other advices that worked out for you in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Bye for now.